Mulos here. Hi guys, Mulos here. So today's video is a full tutorial on the Zazu app. Uh, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Zazu. A big thank you to Zazu for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. And please forgive the chickens in the background. Okay, so I recently compiled a list of my top 10 fintech apps that I use. Uh, let me know in the comments which are your top three fintech apps. Zazu used to be my number five. This was before they introduced their MasterCards. After they introduced their MasterCards, it moved up a notch or two. So it's currently my number three favorite uh, fintech app. I really would like to know which are your top three fintech apps. Maybe there's one that I do not know about, which I would probably like to test or use. And if you'd like to see a video on why these or how these made my list, let me know and I'll make that video. So currently I receive a lot of mobile money payments through MTN Money. I also receive uh, payments through my virtual bank accounts, uh, Payoneer and Paysera. And I receive e-currency like PayPal and Bitcoin. Zazu is how I'm able to access these funds in Zambia practically for free. So this is my Zazu account. Once you've downloaded and set up and logged in, it's going to look like this. Your balance will show on top here. So if you scroll down just to this icon and click it, you're going to be able to add any new Zazu wallets. You're allowed to have multiple wallets within your account. I recommend this if you're going to have one wallet linked to a card and another wallet where you keep your funds. Give it a name and you're good to go. If you click on this icon here, it's going to open up the QR code. Now the QR code allows you to receive funds. Uh, someone can send funds to you by scanning your QR code. So this you need to put up on your website or you can simply do a screenshot and send to the person sending the funds and you receive direct into your wallet. This icon here is going to give you your statements. If you click on it, it will show you your current statement. And if you click on the back arrow or forward arrow, it will move you to the previous month or the next month. The only thing I don't like, it doesn't allow you to save in PDF or CSV files. This icon here will bring a drop down menu which will have uh, your settings and uh, links to social medias, as well as being able to switch between accounts. You can switch between your personal and your merchant account. Only open a merchant account if you want to use it for business. Merchant accounts do come with charges, whereas personal accounts have uh, almost reduced or free services. So. Don't open a merchant account unless you're going into business. Then this icon down here for cards, if you click on that, it's going to take you to where you can get a virtual card or the physical MasterCard. Right now, the physical MasterCard is undergoing beta or is it beta testing? So you might not be able to get it, but you can get up to 10 virtual cards. Then this icon here will give you sort of like a history. It's going to give you a history of your expenditure and income broken down uh, by these four segments. So if you click on any one of them, you'd be able to see how exactly you have spent or received within that set particular segment. So again, this one does not come with a CSV or PDF download feature, but it's quite handy to have. Now, on the depositing side, you are going to have a number of options. You can uh, deposit by debit card, electronic funds transfer in this case. For electronic funds transfer, just please note that transfers in Zambia are done within banking hours. So normal banking hours. And you need to put in this unique reference number as your reference in the transfer so that your funds can be credited faster. This is my PayPal account. Allow me to stray off Zazu for a while. So I send and receive a lot of PayPal transfers. So when you withdraw PayPal funds, these funds eventually go into Zazu. They don't go in directly. 
they go in through this virtual bank account I have called Paycero. I'll leave a link in the description. So I withdraw from PayPal into my Paycero Visa card. And then I'm going to use my Visa card to deposit into Zazu. So if you're using a UBA card and you withdraw to UBA card, it's going to be the same principle. So you go under Zazu, the deposits, choose card, debit card deposit, put in your card number, expiry date and CVV code, confirm it, enter in the amount you're depositing. You can use xe.com or the Zanaco app to calculate how much uh, in Quacha your Forex amount is going to be. And once you click on the confirm, you are then going to do the standard online bank banking process of having to enter in either your billing address, which is the address your card has, and also the OTP to confirm that you did initiate this. Uh, I prefer to receive OTPs by email. So once you have that OTP, simply confirm. Once you've confirmed that, it should take uh, less than a minute for these funds to be received. You can simply wait until you get the SMS from Zazu to confirm that it has come, that your funds are in. So within, within a minute, your account will be topped up. This is my MTN money balance. I've got a 15 quarter in MTN money. So I'm going to show you how you can move MTN money into Zazu again for free. So simply go under deposits, MTN Momo, Enter in your phone number in full, the plus 260, then also the amount you're depositing. Click on the deposit. Once you do that and you confirm, you are then going to receive two SMSs. So just take note that two SMSs are going to come through. One is an SMS from, from Flutterwave, which is going to have an OTP. So you need to Jot down that OTP and then go to the other SMS from Zazu, which is going to have a link. So you need to have internet. Click on that link, enter in the OTP you received in the other SMS, confirm it. Enter, it's then going to give you option to enter in your MTN money pin. Enter that, confirm it, and then your funds will be deposited. Again, this takes under a minute. So you're going to receive an SMS from MTN Money confirming the debit and another SMS from Zazu confirming the credit. So this is practically instant and it's free. Now, the other options on the big plus there is you have got the pay icon where you can send to another Zazu user. I'm going to show you how, to, how that's done. You can use the QR code or you can send using their username. In this case, I'm sending using the username, put in the amount you're sending and the reference. Then you can pay now. If it's from one personal account to another Zazu personal account, the transaction is going to be free. If it's going to a merchant account, there will be a fee which the recipient with a merchant account will be deducted from. So personal are free, merchant one does come with a charge for the receiver. Okay, so once you have confirmed the transaction and all, that's it. This is uh, a Bitcoin wallet that I use, it's called Cryptarium, link in the description. This one, you can withdraw from Cryptarium into your Zazu MasterCard. Cryptarium only pays out to MasterCard using MasterCard Send. So if you do a withdrawal uh, to card, it's going to give you an option to pick the amount you're withdrawing to card. And then uh, once you click on get how much you're getting, it's going to ask you to enter in your MasterCard number and expiry date. So once you enter in your MasterCard number and expiry date and you click on save, the funds will go to your account. Remember that Cryptarium only pays to MasterCard. That is how you are able to send to Zazu because Zazu has MasterCards, both the virtual and the physical. I recommend you only withdraw to your virtual card if you are withdrawing from Cryptarium. Now, the next thing, the most important thing is uh, the withdrawals. So bank withdrawals from Zazu are free from personal accounts. I mean, if you have uh, it's going to send an email, 
So once you click on that, it's going to give you this template where you simply enter in your name, bank account, uh, bank name, and uh, how much you're withdrawing. Withdrawals from Zazu to bank account are currently free and uh, they only work during working hours. So make sure that you initiate this bank transfer in the morning because you know Zambian bank transfers can be slow. So you get the money either the same day or the following day. So do exercise patience when you do this withdrawal and remember that it is free. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Do let me know if there's anything that I missed, anything that you'd like to see. And don't forget to let me know your top three fintech apps. I'll be interested in seeing that. Thanks for watching. Bye.